Yay! Okay, cool. <laughs> it did. Oh, cool. Thank you. <laughs> um, cool. Well, while I jabber along and yip yap, um, I will start drawing. But yeah, like I said, if you have any more questions about it, I'm going to answer any. Um, even if you don't like it, if there's anything you didn't like, I would love to like know like why and um and if you're unsure of anything that'd be great um but yeah thank you all, thank you all so much for bearing with me <laughs> i'm sort of scrambling like i really want you guys to see <laughs> um yeah right uh let's have a look at Oh boy Simba. And let's do like a chill. That's a good one. There we go. I'll get a good reference picture. <sighs> SpongeBob. I should do a fan art of SpongeBob. I really should. SpongeBob was very, very influential for me. <laughs> In ways that um, I didn't anticipate. <laughs> oh, okay. And we're not starting with a line art already drawn, so the pressure's on. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> okay. Let's go with. What should we go with, guys? Uh, I want to do watercolour. Um, I think that would be really fun to experiment with. Should I do an outline? I should probably do an outline first. I'm going to do an outline. Yeah. Um, let's do an outline first. Studio pen. Thank you. Cool, pen's working. <laughs> Someone showed me a screenshot of an episode of SpongeBob by Keanu Reeves was in it. Really random. Yeah, so Keanu Reeves is apparently in the new Spongebob movie, Sponge Sponge on the Run, which actually looks beautiful. It looks gorgeous. The the look dev, the, the, the art design on that movie is stunning. But <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's been in, I don't think Spongebob, I don't think Keanu Reeves has been in Spongebob before. I remember David Hasselhoff was in the first Spongebob movie. That was a classic. A lion art. Mike, trust you. <laughs> be so punny who are you drawing today jay uh jay loves spongebob uh me more though <laughs> that is truly debatable who loves who loves spongebob more me or my dad <laughs> um today we're drawing simba um simba silly oh no, I don't call it. we're drawing we're drawing simba from the lion king because i wanted to do like a sort of nice because i'm still on a bit of a i'm still a bit like uh exhausted like emotionally exhausted from submitting my piece yesterday so i thought like drawing symbol would be like a really nice sort of soothing stream to do um yeah cyberpunk 76 also in the spongebob universe <laughs> sorry i just joined no it's okay no i know everyone's not everyone no not everyone's here at the same time so it's all good um <laughs> spongebob Spongebob and Cyberpunk are the same universe. It, that's it. it. It really is. Um. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so I'm basically taking a frame from the original... Disney animated classic, The Lion King. I'm just gonna paint it 
and I'm going to draw the outline and then I'm going to kind of make it my own a little bit. So I'm not having to love the whole sponge punk. That would be amazing. <laughs> Spongebob and cyberpunk I know they've done I'm, not, I'm sure they've done a couple of Spongebob episodes where it's like a bit like <laughs> cyberpunk <laughs> that would be amazing oh my gosh yeah it's, that's it Keanu Reeves is the same character in both the Spongebob movie and cyberpunk <laughs> oh incredible um, this image is not letting me zoom in so I'm going to have to put it on my downloads um, I'm sorry guys I'm a bit, I'm a bit giddy today <laughs> David Hasselhoff is an absolute <laughs> it's a classic oh god I can't bear it <laughs> that scene I just, I'm just picturing that scene so vividly I think I've watched the first Spongebob movie about 15 times over <laughs> oh I think you just created a new genre, <laughs> sponge punk. <laughs> Listen, I would enjoy sponge punk. I think that would genuinely be like a hit. <laughs> any SpongeBob appearing in any kind of universe would be would be amazing. Um, <laughs> I'm absolutely loving the idea of sponge punk. Gosh, was I looking at the same picture before? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if it should be SpongePunk or Cyberbob. Oh, both is great though. Cyberbob and SpongePunk sound fantastic. I just realised we've not got any music going on for you guys at all. I'm sorry about that. Um, it's quite for me too. There we go. We're still playing my Halloween playlist because I liked it too much. since I've drawn like from a an exact like a basically exact reference so this is oh I'm about out of practice guys Ooh. it's fine we'll, we'll make it I'm really enjoying this discussion of sponge punk in the comments I should make you a non-halloween playlist oh, I like it can it be Halloween all year, please? Can it? Guys. It's okay. If it gets a bit too spooky up in here, we'll probably put on some um, uh, Nintendo tunes. But, and Mike, you put so much effort into making this playlist for me. Um, what is going on with your nose? Um, gosh, I just wanna, it doesn't have to be exact, Jade, don't worry. Don't, don't let habits from when you were 12 come back. <laughs> it's okay. This is just a really rough outline. Um. Jasmine, I'll try not to ruin Simba for you, I promise. Um, it'll be okay. <laughs> Might make his mane a bit more flowing as well. Um, yeah. Sort that out in the 
Yes, more. I should make you a non-Halloween playlist. You must be epic at Pictionary. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, pe other people win when I play Pictionary, so. And I'll take that. <laughs> I haven't played Pictionary for ages, actually. Oh, uh, well, my family, um, my family, who are always in the chat, always in the stream, bless them. Um, we we will play drawful sometimes. We haven't done it for a while. We should we should do it again. Um, but especially since the mix started, we've all been playing drawful, and that's been so much fun. I absolutely recommend it to anyone needing a fun game to play with a bunch of people. I know everyone's on a bit of an Among Us kick, and I respect that. Among Us is great. I played it for the first time the other day. Um, <laughs> but I thank you. I <laughs> thank you. I, I'm alright at Pictionary, I can... <laughs> oh gosh, I'm... I'm terrible, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm truly a terrible person. Um... Okay. I'm not so... Anyway, yeah, what what games do you guys like to play? Like, what, what kind of, like, traditional board games do you guys like? Um, because I know... Board games are pretty hype. Or at least they were before the pandemic. And then, then we realised we had to actually buy physical board games and... Um, now we play games online again. <laughs> Um, I still do Zoom board games at night with friends. Oh, really? Do you guys like have board games set up like physically, or do you like do you like digital board games? Because I feel like because <laughs> I've I've kind of collectively um, obviously if it's like with myself and Mike it's fine. But now, now because of the whole hyper awareness of germs and and viruses and stuff, like <laughs> I'm like I don't know if I could ever play a board game with anyone other than my partner again. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, colonist dot and and scribble dot. Oh, I, oh. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's really neat. Catan and Pictionary, basically. Nice. That's really cool. Oh, I love Catan. I've only ever played it once. I played it in first year at uni. It was great. Um, that's really cool. Uh, board games are great. I miss playing Cluedo. I used to play Cluedo with a lot of my family. And Monopoly. We had like a Disney Monopoly, which was great. Um, uh, <laughs> Cluedo is a... Cluedo's a bop though, I love Cluedo. This music is... I love this, I love this track so much. But I think I might have to go with... Something a bit more relaxing today. Here we go. I'm sorry. <sighs> Something a bit more soothing for me today. Billionaire Banshee. Oh, it's a bop. Billionaire Banshee's amazing. We did a murder mystery thing with like 25 people on Discord video call last, last night with about 30 rooms or so. That's insane. That's Whoa, that's really cool. Did you, who was the murderer? <laughs> also enjoy Carcassonne. Oh, I need to play that. Wheezy Waiter likes Carcassonne. 
Wheezyweight is my favourite YouTuber ever. We we stan. We love Wheezyweight, yeah. Um, <laughs> you, really, you really like Carcassonne. <laughs> That's the only thing I know about it. It's a lot of organisation. That is a lot of organisation. That's insane. 25 people. To do 25 people in a murder mystery thing, like, in real life would be exhausting. <laughs> I've always wanted to go to one of those like murder mystery dinner parties after COVID. Doing one of those would be quite fun. Where you would like dress up as like a character. And one of you is like the the culprit. Gosh, I need to. Oh wow! My boss in the game was the murderer. Lol, it went quite well actually. It was a professionally scripted thing. Besides solving the murder, everyone had had goals they had to try and complete as well. <laughs> Realistic, and you can go room to room speaking to whoever you want. That's really cool. That's awesome. Ah. Oh. Um, that sounds like so much fun, honestly. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just getting up the picture, the reference picture of Simba because I'm just, it's fine. I'm, I haven't drawn like from an exact reference for ages, <laughs> so I'm a little out of practice. Um, that's really bad, I should be practicing all the time, but. It's okay. I've been busy. <laughs> uh, what I might do actually is, oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Um, I know it's Mufasa, that's like the ghost, but I kind of wanna do like, huh, do I? Hmm. Think about it. Think. No. I'll draw the full body and then I'll see how what I decide to do. Um. Thanks, Disney. Um. Don't know why I'm thanking them. They don't. They don't need my thanks. Well, they do because. <laughs> They've influenced me so much. <laughs> and you can go room to room on the street. Sorry, I was just double checking the chat. Um, I was repeating the messages. No, that sounds awesome. Was that like a friend that organised that then, or was that like a was that like a like a thing, like a company? Did, did like an organise like a group that organises that thing especially do that? Okay, he's standing. Okay, okay, I'm getting into the swing of this, guys. We got this. Um, at least I think I have. Uh, it's good to practice doing the. The lion art, the lion art, <laughs> the lion art on uh, on stream. Um, should I do portrait mode? Whoops. This way. Um. Uh, hang 
hang on a sec. Before I get rid of this, I'm gonna make a copy of it. Copy. Okay, there we go. Oh, I know what to do, guys. I know what we're doing today. Okay. 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 My, my friend bought the game from a professional company that comes with all the documentation roles and story for everyone. You can try and find out where it's from if you're interested. Yeah, that would be really cool. <laughs> Do you think Simba stuck to his bug diet or did he revert to eating antelope as soon as he regained power? But she also did a huge amount of organisation in terms of getting around to the fact that it's designed for IRL, so kudos to her. That's really cool. That's really impressive. That's awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, if you find it, um, drop a drop a note in the chat. Um, but also... <laughs> I... See, how could Simba... How could Simba actively, like, be strong enough on a bug diet? Like, surely he would have recognised that, like, oh, shoot, the circle of life and all that. I better, I need to, I need to be able to run the place. I'm going to need all my strength. So, surely he would have had to have gone back to eating antelope, right? Did he? What do we reckon? What do we reckon, chat? <laughs> Did did Simba was Simba like a vegan? Wait, if you eat bugs, are you still a vegan? Yeah. No. Can he can he vegans eat bugs? Bugs are are a good source of fats and proteins. That is a good point. But would it be enough though, even for a lion? Because surely the rate that because the rate that Timon and Pumbaa and Simba eat them, surely they don't have enough to reproduce. <laughs> Because they eat them at quite an alarming rate. But then again, there are loads. There are billions and billions of bugs. So I could be completely talking rubbish here. If, if you wait for them, lol, yeah. So I guess I guess we would be able to. But then if he was to encourage other lions to start eating more bugs, then they would have to, like, control... They're like breeding and stuff, so they don't eat too many. Um, right? I don't know, would there be enough bugs to go around? So bugs aren't animals, so technically vegan? But yeah. That's true. Um, <laughs> it's quite, quite, the, quite the deep discussion we're having in this chat today. Um, but I imagine Simba might have had to readapt and gone done both, like eight bugs, but eight other creatures in, if he needed to, right? Here we go, watercolor baby. Um, because I'm just I don't know, maybe it would be enough. Good for him if he sticks to eating bugs. I mean. There's a whole song about it in the beginning of <laughs> the movie. Um, but yeah. I don't know.
I imagine he would have had to, yeah. So I imagine he would have probably really stuck to like eating bugs, but would in some cases have to like go back to eating like antelope and stuff. So. So yeah, he's probably done both. Um, did anyone see the new Lion King movie? What did we think? I haven't seen it. Um, I wasn't... I wasn't a massive fan. Admittedly, I respect the Lion King and I, I get why people like it. I'm not a massive fan of the Lion King. I know that sounds horrible to say. I know that's a crime against humanity. <laughs> But, um, so I wasn't all too hyped to see the new one. But if anyone's seen it, let me know what you think. Um, it looks very impressive. Um, I was amazed when I went to a talk about it because someone who worked on it came to our, came to Kent to talk about it. And I didn't realize that they had actually built like the skeletons and the muscles, like, underneath the lions as well like that's insane and like rigged them all so they would move as accurately as possible that's a cr it's crazy that's so cool um yeah anyway uh it's amazing the level of effort that went into that movie um but apparently like People, people kind of described it as quite cold, which was a shame. But I think we'll get there one day with like realistic CG stuff, and we'll 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 get better. At, um, we need to just put a bit more in it, more energy back into writing and and characters and stuff. Like I feel like it's a bit too much. Anyway, controversial opinion, but guys, we we love we love realistic lions. That's awesome, but like get get some get some heart back in there, you know. Anyway, I'm, I'm probably gonna uh, <laughs> if, I, if I talk any more about the Lion King, <laughs> uh, someone's gonna come for me. So it's fine. I I just. <sighs> first movie love love most of the songs they're great um the concept is great uh not not a big fan of um scar's villain song i felt like he deserved better um but hey ho okay are you Who's here? Just a message. Sorry, oh gosh. I'll get back to those after the stream. I'm sorry, everybody. Offending Twilight fans and Lion King fans in two streams. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did I talk about Twilight last time? Did I? I must have. <laughs> this is when you realise I'm actually a really horrible person. Um, <laughs> I'm just... Oh, I did talk about Twilight. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the to any Twilight fans watching I did I did I liked Arrow Michael Sheen's character 
He was pretty neat. Um, and the, the baseball scene was fun. Yeah, and the music was good. <laughs> I like the mu music. Hipster. <laughs> no, I'm not a hipster. I genuinely liked things before they were cool, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not a hipster. I love Disney too much. <laughs> No, but Disney got a bit hipster after a while, didn't it? Like, like hipster culture kind of adopted it. Cause do you remember, like on Tumblr, like people would edit like, like Ariel and and Simba and people to have like hipster and like emo clothing and stuff. So they someone tried to bring it back with Elsa recently, um, by making Elsa look a bit more hipster. <laughs> so I guess maybe I am. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm just going to quickly respond to this message. Um, uh, sorry, everyone. wanted to get back to that one so yeah mike also mike don't call me out for being a hipster you're the most hipster hipster that ever did hipster so <laughs> like making things before they were cool and all that <laughs> You know what I'd need to play once my projects are officially done? I need to get back into Breath of the Wild, guys. I still haven't finished it. I've had it since I got my Switch. And I still haven't finished it. I'm sorry, Nintendo. Please forgive me. Um... Shall we? Found the murder mystery thing, by the way. It's from freefromgames.com. Is it the Casino Fatal one? That's really cool. Thank you. I'll have to look into that. Because... So I play I play D and D with my partner and two other friends and they are wonderful. 
And all three of them have been dungeon masters and they've been fantastic dungeon masters and I have yet to do it because I, 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 and I'll have to look for some, I know there's plenty of inspiration on uh, D&D Beyond and from Wizards of the Coast, but that sounds really fun. I would love to be able to do that at some point someday, <laughs> like hosting a game like that. Um, but, um, they're all excellent dungeon masters. They've made the game so fun. And and they've all all three of them came up with their own stories and stuff, which was really cool. I thought you were talking about your animation, OMG Simba. Oh, yeah, so I don't know I don't know if you were here before. So basically I wanted to spend I thought I'd spend the first like half an hour just talking about my animation and stuff. I showed the animatic and the final project. Um, and then because I'm feeling a bit, I'm like kind of still a bit tired and a bit worn out from the project, I decided to do a chill um, Simba piece. But it's not the one for your fan art request. Um, the one that you requested like five months ago that I'm finally getting around to doing. Um, but I'm doing a different picture because I didn't really vibe with the line art I did originally. It wasn't really me, so I just thought I would do like a chill, like watercolor painting version of of Simba. Um, so yeah, that's that's where we're at today. That's that's how I'm feeling. And I will work out how to frame this properly, I promise, guys. I hope you don't mind. Um, <laughs> yes, Simba. Um, Probably done that on another layer. Yeah, I should have. It's fine. I'll leave the eye. I'll redo the eye, but I'll get rid of the whiskers. Do that on a different layer. <sighs> Spent too much time waffling. Thought I would be able to fish this on the stream, but probably will have to finish this on Wednesday. Oh no, actually we're doing all right. I might might be able to finish it now. Who knows? Um, uh, yeah. Need that? Yeah, we do. <sighs> I just realised why you were talking about Breath of the Wild, the music. Sorry, I'm slow, lol. <laughs> How's your tape been, cutie? Oh, um, no. Sorry, I my music music's quite quiet. I don't know if it's too quiet for you guys. Um, I might turn it up a little bit just while I'm not speaking quite as much. Um, yeah. Um, sorry, I should have clarified really why I was talking about Breath of the Wild. Um, I'm really good. My day's my day's been great. Um, just the usual today, just like winding down a little bit after the project hype and and things like that and prepping for this obviously <laughs> um i have been waking up quite late recently i need to try and get back into my back into my routine again <laughs> um but 
That's what I get for insisting on finishing a project on a certain day, even though it's not my deadline, so... Um, not my actual deadline. <laughs> I'm like, no, I must finish it on my own set deadline. <laughs> um... How was your how was your days been? How has everybody's day been? How are you all doing? What have you all been up to? Obviously, bear in, when you tell me what you've been up to, bear in mind this is a public stream that anyone might be able to stumble across. <laughs> oh, bless you. Thank you. I'm I'm really pleased. I am really pleased. That was a really that was a long project. It was it was a lot of work. Um and yeah, I I'm really I'm really pleased with how it went. <laughs> Thank you. I really need to have the stream manager off my phone because otherwise I can't read. Um I'm just getting that up now. Alright, leave it open because that's useful. I need this. Um, oh gosh, the timing is incredible. People are asking me like important questions over Messenger like while I'm streaming. I'm like, it's not polite for me to text on the stream, but these are important questions, so I need to get back. Um, so yes, cool. I have the mobile streaming on so I can read. Um, I wish I could stick myself to myself implemented ten eyes. <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot of a lot of self discipline, a lot of practice. <laughs> and there is no shame in not. Sometimes you just can't, and that's okay. Life happens, you know? Especially with everything that's going on recently. Um, best to just stick with the uni deadlines. <laughs> right, okie dokie. Let's hide the line up and get onto the fun bit. Sorry guys. Stream manager. Here we go. Okay. Chat's refreshed. <sighs> I'm sleepy. Trying to make his mane a bit more flowier and breezier, you know? I'm gonna get some other pictures, I'll just get on the ski right. Where are you, Simba? Also, I was a silly and forgot to upload the VODs to my YouTube channel in time for Halloween from the Halloween streams. And I think one of them is still actually running out from After Effects because I needed to uh, tidy up some stuff in it. Where is it? Is it still rendering? Oh my god, it's still rendering. Yeah, that's gonna take ages. Because I've got... So many apps open. <laughs> Sorry, After Effects. Um, but yeah, I will get those out. Um, hopefully tonight. And then we'll all be up to date with the VODs on my YouTube. <laughs> if anyone wants to go back and watch some old streams, they're on my YouTube channel.
Oh, this is fun. I'm enjoying this. This is this is what I hoped it would be. Just just a nice like mental breather, you know. I looked at uploading my vods to YouTube the other day, and I realised I I have t two terabytes to upload. It'll take me one month and ten days solid with uploading. Whoa, two terabytes worth of streams. That's amazing. <laughs> How are you storing all those? Well. It's worth it, because you do get you do get quite a, you get quite a few passive views here and there, you know. Hello. <laughs> Is it? Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, this thing. So my guys. Oh no, I was just playing the mic. That's really bad. I'm sorry. That's really bad. Let me just mute for a second. Seventy gigabytes? That's amazing. I'm sorry if you can hear the microphone noise because one of the cables have come loose. That's incredible. <laughs> That's a big stream. No, definitely, definitely. Well, if you do get the time, if you are able to, just like maybe do like a couple every day. Like maybe do like a bunch once a week or something until you've caught up. And then like schedule them out, um, which is what I've been doing. So usually my vods will go up like um, a week and a uh, what have I got it set to? Is it a week and a day or two weeks and a day? It's like usually two weeks and a day after that stream, if that makes any sense. Um, uh, I do recommend it if you get a chance, but that is a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of time. Oh, I see. Yeah, I got you. Got you. But yeah. I know I'm just a rabbit repeating myself, but yeah, that sounds like a, I'm just a parrot. Sorry, not a rabbit. Jesus. A, ra a parrot repeating myself. Um, I do recommend it if, if you do ever want to like sit down and do it. I know that was like a month or a day. That's insane. <laughs> Yeah, I think I might abandon the old stuff and just start with the new stuff. Yeah, it's always good for a fresh start too, you know? Always room for that. Do you follow your heart, my dude. Follow your dreams. Hello. No, it's interesting to see the how they will be doing stuff. I think I might have the old stuff and just start with new stuff around that's interesting. Yeah. No, it's it's um hopefully I've under um Oh my brain, it's turning to mush. Um yeah, no, it's it's good. Um, I I just like I like having the sort of archive. I 
I'm archiving them on OneDrive at the moment and I'll probably like get like a when I get a job I'll get like a big fat external hard drive and just put them all on there like I'll put all my renders on there too but thank you to I thanks to iCloud and OneDrive I have about three terabytes of storage which is great for all my renders and things um it's insane actually the amount of frames I had to render out for my project worked out to be about 500 gigabytes and bear in mind that's a three minute um just over three minute project with really really basic texturing <laughs> and that was 500 gigabytes Gigabytes. Um, I think the, the frames I ended up using um, were only like, only came to about 75 gigabytes. Um, but I rendered out like all of the cameras, all of the frames for every camera. Um, that was nuts. <laughs> but luckily, all the scenes were split into different files, so it wasn't a crazy amount of crazy amount of frames to work with. Um, plus everyone at EDA at my school would be mad at me if I had to take up all the computers to render out all of those frames. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the VFX guys, because um, I, because at EDA, you, you probably already know this, but um, for anyone who doesn't know, um, the program I took, you had the option to do a course in a Master of Science in Digital Visual Effects or Computer Animation. I picked, myself and four other people picked Computer Animation. Um, everyone else did uh, Digital Visual Effects, and the size of their projects would be enormous. Um, like the length of ours were longer because like our projects were very focused on storytelling, on movement. So we had to like do a project that was between 2.5 minutes and five minutes. Whereas the VFX guys, I think only had to do a 30 second thing, but that would have taken just a ridiculous amount of time. And even that would have like taken hours to just to spit out and uh, process. It's incredible what some of my classmates have done actually. I might, um, might share a bunch of their portfolios um, at some point. Um, I just need to try and because it was a few weeks ago. I asked them. I was like, "Hey guys, share with me more portfolios." And only two people shared them with me. And I was like, "Everyone, we, I, <laughs> show me, <laughs> show me your work." <laughs> Must be insane over at Pixar and stuff where they have entire server farms and it still takes an hour to render a frame. Yeah, that must be insane. That would be absolutely crazy. Oh, sorry, I just got a really sweet message from, from one of my parents. Um, <laughs> uh, what was he talking Yeah, Pixar must be nuts. Disney, like, even, even the smaller companies would still be just insane, the, the amount of work they have to push out, you know? Um, I don't know how they do it. There's this really incredible story, and I don't know if I'll be able to remember it properly, about um, how they almost lost most of Toy Story 2. Um, while they were making it, like, all the assets and stuff. Um, especially when they accidentally lose a movie. Yes, I was just about to talk about that. Um, so, so I think it was Toy Story 2. There was somebody who... It was all, like, command... They, they, they had, like, an interface that was still, like, command line or something. Um, with, like, dealing with their massive amounts of storage, like, all of their assets and everything and someone accidentally typed in like an erase all button and they just watch and like people on the like people who were working suddenly were seeing that their the scenes they were working on were disappearing and like everything was just slowly disappearing and they went into this internal panic and like, yeah like all of the toy story 2 stuff was just being erased from right before their eyes before they even got to like like any kind of i don't even know if they'd rendered out any scenes yet um and luckily someone was working from home and coincidentally recently i think she had like copied all of the assets and everything at home so she has like a backup that gets updated very regularly like every day or something 
So they were able to get all the assets back from her own server at home, and they managed to save Toy Story 2. Like, I remember watching that video, I think, I think Mike showed me the video about it, and I just, my heart just, my stomach just crumbled. <laughs> Um, I just, I just can't imagine how it felt just watching everything get just deleted because you know, just watching it one by one all disappear. Like, oh my god! Especially Toy Story Two. That's nuts. Like, I'm glad they didn't lose Toy Story Two. That movie was fun. <laughs> um. Sorry, just went on a whole tangent about that. Um, but I can't imagine being that poor person who accidentally set that command. And like, I just, oh gosh. I, I would have been, I feel so bad for them. That's a lucky break. That's a lucky break if I've seen one. Uh, dinner's ready, so I've got to go, but I'll keep the stream open, give you one more view account. Oh, bless you. Bye. Have a good dinner. And have a good evening. You're very sweet. Thank you so much. And I'll get back to your email ASAP. <laughs> Thank you. Um, hi, everybody. I think there's some new faces here. Welcome to the stream. We're drawing Simba today because I just wanted something to just to to relax me after submitting my project yesterday. Um, <laughs> and I've still got some of it to go because I got to do a show reel and I have to do a report. Um, yeah. Well, if there's anyone here that is new, feel free to give me a follow. That would be amazing. Um, I would really appreciate that. Um, and if you want to like check out any of my other work or any of my other socials, I'm Jadine underscore art on Instagram as well as Twitter. And I'm also Jadine Ingram on YouTube, ArtStation, Redbubble. Um, all of those links should be in my Twitch profile. Um, so yeah, feel free to give me a follow. And if you like what you see, I do commissions too. So feel free to get in touch if you are looking for a digital painting or illustration. I'm also an animator. Earlier on in the stream I uh, was showing everyone my final student project, um, but I'm not commissioning animations right now. I'm commissioning 2D animations however, like if you want like a digital painting in there to be like little little bits of animation in it, but not like full-blown narrative animations if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, feel free to get in touch if you're interested. What time is it as well? Because I should really wrap it up. Um, okay. Okay, we'll wrap it up in 20 minutes. That's all good.
Okay, let's, add, let's see if we can add some depth to this. Um, we'll see. <laughs> Try our best. I need to get more troops in here then. We need more water. Um. Oh, goodness me. Makeup hasn't gone everywhere, thank goodness. <laughs> Couldn't resist but to check. Sorry, fellas. Uh -huh. Miss me. Sorry, guys. Um, I was just like had one of those moments. Where I was like, I hope my makeup isn't just running down my face because my eyes are just so watery. I think it's okay. <laughs> okay.
Hmm, I think. How do we do this? Hmm. Yeah, different layer. Hope you're all uh, doing okay out there. Don't forget to drink some water as well. Because you need it. Water is good for the soul and the body. So is most food. All food. Food is good for the soul. So you all better be eating and drinking out there. Having a merry old time. You're such a sweet little- Aww. <laughs> you though. Stop it. <laughs> I had to dig into the stack of books I took out today. Library was oddly busy. And no, I won't. Aww. <laughs> howdy, howdy. Guess who has poor internet? Hello! Hi, <laughs> Kieran. Hi. Enjoy your books, Jasmine. That sounds really exciting. But, oh yeah, no, busy library. Ugh, that's the last place I want to be right now. <laughs> yeah, it's going good, thank you. We're just, we're just having a bit of a chill stream today. Um, I finished my my big master's project yesterday. I spent the first half hour just kind of awkwardly uh, telling everyone about it on the stream. And then we just decided to do a chill watercolor painting of Simba because Jasmine requested it ages ago on the six fan arts challenge I was doing a while back. Um, that looks cool. Um, so yeah, that's how it's going. How about you? How are you doing? How you doing, my lovely? exciting it's up on my youtube channel if you want to check it out um i think i've got it linked in my uh bio on here or it's just jd ningram on youtube i've got a few other embarrassing things on my youtube channel can you believe it as well 
<laughs> now that I think about it, I've got some old projects from like A-level and GCSE up there, which I think most of them are still public. I had to unlist quite a few videos though. <laughs> oh, I tried to be a YouTuber once or twice. I sure did. Um, I'm I'm all voidy and distant recently, but getting there, thanks. Oh man, that really sucks. I'm sorry. I hope I really hope this uh, helps and 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 soothes in 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 a way. I hope I hope it does. I'm sorry you ain't feeling so good. I hope you're able to take it easy and have some time to gel. You always help and do things. And yeah, got some more off works that should help. Oh, I hope so. It's always good to, for anyone, for anyone to take a good a good mental health day. I really hope, I, I, I'm really glad. I'm glad I, I help soothe. <laughs> if anyone needs to be soothed, come to me and I will soothe. <laughs> I will do my best. <laughs> Come to me on Wednesdays and Sundays between six and eight, and we will we will soothe, and we will relax, and it will be a okay. Super soother, yeah. Here we are, super soothers. Here to soothe and rest and relax and have a good time. Hell yeah. I do apologise, I might have to end the soothing sesh um, in a bit, but I'm going to see if I can get most of his mane coloured in, and then I will uh, have to hop off I'm afraid, um, but the VOD is up if you would like to hop in from the beginning, but there's no pressure, only if you want to. The trouble with streaming when you notice people hop on like at the end you're like oh man guys i'm sorry i'm about to wrap up <laughs> um but hey that's that's what it means to be a streamer right Oh, I really do hope you feel better soon. I hope all of you are feeling feeling okay and feeling feeling good. And if 
you're not I hope you feel better soon. And listen, hey, as my animation says, go check on your friends and listen to them and sit with them and be with them. And if they just if they just need you to, to just be there and just be there, man. You know? Like the queen the queen didn't need to 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 be forcefully cheered up. She just needed a friend. <laughs> Some of you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you want to know, go watch my animation. <laughs> um, Jester and the Melancholy Queen. It's on YouTube. Um, So if you can't be there for your friends, that's also okay. Sometimes sometimes you need to focus on yourself, and that's fine too. And you can't properly help your friends if you yourself aren't, you know, equipped to 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 help. To be there. And You need to make sure you're you're doing good too. Check in with yourself. I did just kind of turn up at the end, bless you. Aww. You're so sweet. Yeah, no worries, you can, you can pop in whenever, whenever you want. There's no pressure. There's no pressure with me at all. That's the whole point of these things, you know? It's all on your own terms. Um. Cool. He looks pretty cool. That was a fun. That was fun. <laughs> that was a, that was a nice. That was that was nice. I needed this. <sighs> yes. Okay. This is good. Uh, this is a good little wind down painting. Um. Do we? Do we do some little stars? We might do some little stars. This was fun. Oh, that was. Uh, shall we bring the brightness in this thing? The opacity down a little bit. That's cool. Nah, keep it quite rich. Um, let's change the paintbrush to a watercolor. Oh, who's there? The colors in his main are amazing. How do you choose what ones to do? Aww, thank you. You're a good bean. You're all good beans. You're all such lovely good beans. Um, aww. Um, so the colours. I will explain the colours actually, because I did have a bit of a process there. So I started off with obviously like the base here, um, and then I kind of like colour picked like. So if I'm working on this bit to add the colours, I'll pick the sort of this colour right there. And then I'll change the hue, but not like the saturation.
duration or the brightness. So like move it down to green and then add in the greens that kind of match the same hue. Um, so I kind of went with that, but then there was a couple of flecks as well just to finish it all off like that are a bit more random. Um, and also because his base colours are very warm, um, I stuck with like reds, oranges, yellows for base. I just go with cool colours on top. Um, so that's that's pretty much the so I went for cooler colours like like purples, greens, blues. Also there's a little bit of pink in there as well. Um, which is more of a warmer colour. But yeah, that's, that's, that was uh, yeah. It was mostly just very loose as well. Um just whatever looked whatever looked kinda cool, you know? Um so yeah. I'm almost done. I'm just quickly Add in a few more brush strokes underneath. Um, I'm debating as to whether to leave the middle bit just kind of transparent. I quite like it. Uh, and then I'm gonna take that watercolour, just erase a bit of the colour down here. What happens if we make it a bit richer actually? It's a bit too much. It's honestly cruel. I love colour and I love art. The gods refused me an artistic hand. <laughs> the gods refused me an artistic hand. Listen, my dude. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> um, it's only really in the last year I've become confident with like colour theory and lighting and um, and I've been doing this for over ten years. Um, but you're so crafty and cool and awesome. You're very artistic, my dude. You're extremely creative. You made you made Mike like an amazing pillow, and your face masks are awesome. Don't put yourself down, my guy. You're very creative. And this. This, this, this cost me a social life, so. <laughs> no, it didn't. I have a very good social life. Um, <laughs> I'm very lucky. I'm a very lovely friend. Um, but uh, yeah, just it's just practice, my guy. Um, and you're very, very crafty and you're so talented. Like, don't put yourself down. My ear, my ear pods are falling out. <laughs> Today. Not not liking it today. Okay. Um oh, yes, I'm gonna do some little stars in the sky. And then I think I'm gonna wrap it up, guys. Yeah. Maybe I'll uh do some touch up soft stream, but um I think this will do for now. I quite like this just sort of being a, a nice one-off watercolour painting. Um, I'll quickly hide that. I can sew, uh, uh, I can sew, and colour theory for sewing is easy to me, but drawing, for drawing, no go. <laughs> it just, I guess it, it is different, like, like, for me, I find the opposite as well, like, I couldn't, I had to drop out of textiles quite early because I just couldn't grasp sewing or, 
anything at all and it was all just too much on top of everything else for me um but uh no i feel you like i'm the opposite like um color theory and drawing comes quite easy to me now but if i was to try and apply it to sewing man it's a no-go um go <sighs> that'll do I think mm. oh. yeah let's do a quick replay while I wrap it up um because this didn't take me so long it shouldn't take too long um Together we could make a brand. We all have our talents, exactly. You can see a colour theory. It looks so cool like that. Ne negative, sort of. Yeah, just just kind of like change the opacity a little bit and brought it down and make it kind of, make him kind of blend into the sky a bit. The highlights are reminiscent of Rafiki's Dago, Dago paints. <laughs> yeah. Well deduced, like. <laughs> we could make a brand. We, as a team, we would be, we would be solid. <laughs> Seem exhausted. Treat yourself to a healing bath, candles, chocolates, tea, and everything else you absolutely deserve. Oh, you're so, so sweet. I am sleepy. I think I will go and just chill. Maybe I'll play, maybe I'll play some Animal Crossing or something. Yeah. Thank you. I hope you're all having a lovely chill evening. And you can here and everybody i hope you all have a lovely chill soothing wonderful evening um get lots of good rest take it easy um yeah thank you all for hopping in this has been lovely um oh i love rafiki he's great <laughs> yeah hope you have a lovely lovely evening everybody take it easy um yeah now that you say that i seem exhausted i do feel exhausted like just hit me um <laughs> oh this is fun thank you guys lots of love have a fabulous evening whatever you do sweetheart oh thanks <laughs> you're so sweet oh you too <laughs> Oh, I just realised my chair was a bit too high this whole time. <laughs> oh, goodness me. It's okay, though. Alright, see you guys in the next one on Wednesday at 6. I still don't know what I'm doing, but um, hopefully I'll have it figured out. Um, yeah. Bye, guys. Love. Good night.